But first, early voting in Texas starts on Monday. It's the first time under that new voter ID law. Good evening. I'm Matthew LeBlanc. Amanda Kenny will join you tonight at 10. So under this new law, when you go to vote, if you don't have the right ID, you can't cast a ballot. KAG's HD News reporter Jenny Walsh looked into what forms of ID you can bring. We join her now with our top story. Jenny, there are six options out there for voters. Matthew, that's right, and a lot of those options on the list of acceptable IDs are things most voters have in their wallets. Starting with your Texas driver's license, concealed handgun license, or military ID card. Voters can also show their U.S. passport, personal ID card, or election ID certificate issued by DPS. The key with all of those forms of ID is that they all have pictures on them. That way, polling place workers can tell you can tell who you are and what you're and that you're supposed to be voting. Verify that the person voting is the actual person that is registered to vote. And um, obviously, uh, you know, they're verifying that this is a citizen. It is someone who has been vetted through the voter registration system. If you don't have any of those six acceptable forms of ID, you still have time to get the election ID certificate through the local DPS office with your picture on it in time to vote. Tonight at 10, how what local voters think of the new law. Matthew.